Okay, so before we get started with the cloning process, we want to have a look at the partitioning table scheme that's on the source drive. So to get to there, you just go Windows X and then choose Disk Management. And just expand that window out a little bit. You can see there that our destination drive is our XP941, which is disk zero. And our source drive, disk one, is a 128 gigabyte SSD. And you can see there that it's got an EFI partition and um, that's usually all you need to know that it's actually petitioned with the, the GPT petitioning scheme so that's the good petition table so look up GPT on Wikipedia if you need to know more if it's like that you'll be fine to clone to your XP941 if it's missing that particular um, petition then it's likely to be an MBR petitioning scheme which is a master boot record and you'll have a lot of difficulty trying to clone that to your XP941 and you would want to actually start from scratch and install Windows from scratch when you're XP941 if that's the case, rather than doing a clone. So now that we know that, uh, let's get busy and download our cloning software. So I use one called uh, EasyOS, just Google that and jump on their website. Uh, the backup software is under, it's called To Do Backup Free. And if we download that, you just need to put your email address in there and you can there's a free version of it that you can download and i've already downloaded one earlier and so we'll run the setup for that it's about 90 megabytes doesn't take long to install just select the usual defaults And we'll come back to that once that's finished. Okay, so that's now complete. And we'll fire up the EasyOS to do backup software. And we'll just use the free license to begin with. So we're going to use the clone button. And I'll just skip the update for now. So first we need to select the source drive. And for us, that's going to be the disk one, which is the um, current boot disk, the 128 gigabyte SSD. We go next, and we need to select the destination drive, which is disk zero, or the XP941. So we'll just tick that, and then once you tick that, you notice that there's an edit link that becomes available. And we're going to expand out the space that's used, because it's only currently It'll, by default, I'll just use 128 gigs, so I'll get it to use all of the free space that's on that drive when it does the clone. Then we go next. And we get one final confirmation screen. And then we just click on proceed. Click OK. And then we wait for that to happen. So I'll just stop and start this so that we get through this part fairly quickly. It takes about... Um, uh, less than five minutes on, on my system with just a basic installation of Windows. So now it's finished. Click the finish button. And now if we have a look, you can see that there's our destination drive. It's been partitioned nicely, just the same as the source drive. And the th third partition there has been stretched out to consume all the free space on the drive. Now you can go ahead and shut the system down. So once you've turned it off, just remove the power cable from the source uh, SSD or hard drive, just so that it's not used when we boot the machine back up again. Okay, so I've disconnected my original source drive and I'm going to power the machine back on and quickly press F2. So I get into the BIOS. Then I'm going to go across to the boot section and have a look at boot option one. You can see here there's two options for the Windows Boot Manager, uh, but the second one is the new XP941, just from my experience. So I'll choose that as my boot device and then press F10 and save and then let the machine reboot again. And all being well, it should boot straight up into the cloned XP941 that we just created. And there we go, straight into Windows. So let's just have a look in our Windows Disk Management tool now. Press Windows X and then K. And you can see here that we've got our uh, single 
destination drive, which is now our boot drive, and Windows has changed it to Optician C. So we'll shut the machine down and we'll reconnect the uh, original source drive. So we'll boot it up again. Let's have another look in our Windows Disk Management Utility. And you can see now that we should have two drives. And there's our boot drive. It's our Samsung XP9 for one. This Windows is switched to the C drive. And our original source drive, which we can now have a look at and drag and drop data as we need to. So that's the end of our cleaning process for our XP941 finished. Thank you.